what's up guys welcome back to the channel guys your boy ryan lfc back again guys another top shelf video for you guys today as you guys can see in the title and the thumbnail we're going to discuss the jamaica versus mexico game people it was a wonderful game by the reggae boys mexico not the greatest game from mexico but for jamaica i think jamaica played very well and i think we deserve to win that game and advance to the semi-final of the nation league but people sometime in life football it's a game that anything can happen and we get the chance mexico get the chance shaman nicholson get it to go cheat to um corey Berg get the chance to go cheat to and look wasn't an hour day you understand but bobby reed with a beautiful streamer screamer for the reggae boys to take the lead and mexico come back jamaica take the lead with the um own goal and mexico came back but it was a good performance by the reggae boys and we want to take so much positivity from that game i hope al grimson can bail on that but people i have a canadian you know what i mean canadian fans support the canadian national team and i would love for a year in perspective because he's very honest ryan endes is very honest and i want to hear as an outsider what an outsider thinking about the coach and the old reggae boys play against mexico but ryan thank you very much for taking this opportunity to come to the channel what are your perspective on the reggae boys game against mexico from minute one to 96 minutes in the game i thought jamaica played very well i think they should have won that game I think it was hard luck, the rain delay that happened and the penalty that happened in stoppage time in the first half. It ruined the momentum, that rain delay. If that rain delay doesn't happen, I think Jamaica is the winners tonight because I don't think that penalty given up by Ravel would have happened had that rain delay not taken effect. Sadly enough, it ended up happening. The penalty happens right at stoppage time in the first half, and that's all Mexico needed to draw and then win the group the Nations League group, sadly. And yes, Jamaica had a lot of good chances in that second half. And if Leon Bailey had a better final ball, they would have gotten that third goal. I think Leon Bailey, even though I don't think he played that badly, I think he played okay. I don't think he played up to the expectations of the Jamaican fans. And I think that's the problem because I don't think he understands. Even with Hall Grimson, I don't think he understands how much he's the talisman. I just don't think he gets it. But with that being said, I still think he played okay from my point of view. With that being said, I like what Hal Grimson's doing with the Jamaican national team. I think he's a general. He has them focusing on the pitch, on the play, and in training, not focused on the noise of the JFF and the outside noise. He has them focused on their game, and I think that finally helps. He's a general, he's a tough manager, and he's building the team in the right way and setting them up for success. Going to the Azteca and getting a point and almost winning is a very, it's a very hard thing just to get a point. And to almost win, be this close, in my mind, to winning a game down there, that if you're not Mexico, is very hard to do. Canada drew down there during World Cup qualifying. That's what they deserved. U.S. drew down there. They deserved that draw. They didn't nearly win that game. Jamaica went down there against Diego Colca in his second game and made Mexico look like the worst team. And I think that means a lot for Jamaica, and that does show that Jamaica will shock the world at Gold Cup because 2021 – and that World Cup qualifying cycle was not what we expected out of Jamaica. But I think they have set the course right for 2026 and also Gold Cup this year. And maybe even if things keep on going correctly, they could qualify for Copa America 2024. I could see that as well. Definitely. Um, so we want to go into the player ratings because I think you have some Jamaican player that play outstanding in this game, but also, you have some players that didn't um, live up to expectation. You're talking about Leon Bailey. I don't think him have a bad game, but, you know, I need his bad game to turn in great game. As the leader of the team, not as the captain, but the big 
Um, we had a call it poster boy for the national yeah. team. Look at the Canadian national team, you know, the top key player. Look at the Mexico national team, the top key player stepping up. Look at the United States, Christian Policy, Captain America, stepping up for their team. I am expecting that from Leon Bailey. Final pass were very, very poor. And if I was the coach last night, I would sub Leon Bailey because in performance, wasn't good enough and we expect more from Leon Bailey. But for me, we have a lot of positivity if you take from this game. Um, I like what I see. Although the JFF have a lot of work to do off the pitch, but you see that if the coach get more time, he will get more time with the players um, leading up to that goal cup. And I think Jamaica are going to be very dangerous. You know what I mean? We have a very good coach. We have a good coaching staff. Um, the federation just need to back him. But, Brian, you know about um, the MLS. Talk to me about Javier Brown. How much would you rate Javier Brown's performance? Because they were attacking a lot on Javier Brown on that right side. I think the sub was correct. I don't think, I think the first half he was struggling. He was heavily struggling. If there was any attack, it was coming from his side. They were attacking him. They were targeting him. And it's, it's crazy because to me, when he plays for Vancouver, he plays great. He played well in Champions League. He isn't really the reason why Vancouver screw up when they play in MLS. But when he plays for Jamaica, and this has gone a couple of months now, a couple of windows. He doesn't look great when he plays for the reggae boys. He comes out and just looks like he's the worst player on the pitch or one of the worst. And under Hal Grimson, I was expecting, hey, maybe maybe Hal Grimson could pull it out of him because I thought he could. Because let's remember how Grimson coached Iceland to a World Cup. Jamaica technically on paper is better than that Iceland team. You would think he could pull it out of Javane Brown. If Vani Sartini can do it, you think Hal Grimson could do it, but he couldn't. And Javain Brown rightfully got pulled at the half because he was the one being targeted the whole first half. And luckily, it didn't really end up causing any problems. But you don't want to play that for another half with the altitude. You say, hey, come on, let's try something else. And they made that good sub there. So it just boggles my mind. Because, again, with Paul Hall and Papa, it's like, okay, I understand why Javane Brown might falter under the pressure. But, again, with a manager like Hal Grimson, who I think has a very good pedigree, and he's better than Vanny Sartini, I'd be like, yeah, you, you would pull something out of him. But he didn't. So, I think that was the right sub. I think Javane Brown was probably the worst player in the game for Jamaica. I think everybody else at least performed to a six, to a baseline perspective. Javane Brown rightfully got pulled, and I think he was the worst of anybody pulling on that Jamaica shirt last night. Definitely. How much would you give to Javane, bro? Four. 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 Out of ten. Yeah, I would, I would give him four out of ten, too. So I agree with you on that. I think Javane, bro, need to work on him position or in position. You know what I mean? But he have a lot of work to do. I think he need to leave the MLS and definitely go to Europe where he can further in football education. I think the MLS is going to keep him at that level. I and that's right. comfortable. I would agree. I would agree. Definitely. But Damian Lowe, how much would you give Damian Lowe? I would give Damian Lowe a seven. I think he played well up until his injury. I think he was very tough at center back. Sucks for the union that he got hurt, that he came off injured. But I think he put everything into his performance. I'd say he was one of the better players that call my eye, I think Damian Lowe gets a seven in my book. Definitely. For me, I think Damian Lowe um, put in a solid performance. I think he have a lot more work to do in the Jamaican national team to prove to the people that he still have it. He still have that hunger. He still have that passion. But I think I would give him 7.5 for me. I think he have a solid game. He makes some very important block. But um, Ethan Pinot, the Brentford centre-back, um, how much would you give him and how much do you rate Ethan Pinot? Solid game tonight. I rate him heavily. I think he's been great in the Premier League over the past two seasons. I would give him an eight. Mm. I would give him an eight. I thought he was very solid. 
I think he was the better center back of the three. I think he was definitely the more solid. I think he definitely marshaled the back line well. I think that was more of his job than Waite or Lowe's job. I think it was really Pinnock's job, and I think he did well with it. So I'd give him an eight. Definitely. For me, I would not give him an eight because of we conceding two, but I can understand that how much you rate Ethan Pinnock. But for me, I would give Pinnock a seven and a half. I think him were solid, but, you know, I'm not going to give you eight. Eight is like perfect game. I can't see two. So for me, seven. Fair, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Seven what about, um, better, but fair. Yeah. What about, um, our left back? You know, um, Bell, Amari Bell. Amari Bell. Yeah. He didn't do anything completely off the rails to hurt the game, but to me, he was there. He was a passenger. But he did what he had to do, and he didn't do anything wrong. So I'd say six and a half. Yeah, definitely. I think you're spot on with that. But I would give him a six. I think he can do a little bit more going forward in attack for Jamaica, especially when overload on theme side. I think he can give us a little bit more. But for me, I would give him a 6.5. 6.5. Yeah, that's what I would give him. Um, yeah, that's what I give him. Who we missing out at the back? Um, Jamali Wait. Jamie Wait. Yeah, I think he make two good save. I think he were good. Um, as a young goalkeeper playing the USL, I would have to give him a seven. I think yeah. he, he he were good. Make some crucial save at the right time. He wowed me. I think he was one of the players who really wowed me tonight because, again, no Andre Blake, and you're going to the Azteca. You think that would be a death sentence for Jamaica. But mm -hmm. Jamali Waite stood tall, frankly. For a keeper out of the USL, I'd give him a 7.5. Definitely. I'd, I'd give him a 7.5. He wowed me. I thought he played a great game. He would be a great backup for Jamaica. I still think Andre Blake's the starter once he gets healthy. That's facts. I don't think that changes. Mm -hmm. But Waite. Played a damn good game. He mm. he kept Jamaica on there, kept them at least with a chance to draw. So I gotta give him a seven. Yeah, I think he I think he were solid man. I think him distribution, him kicking, was perfect, second to none. You know, last night against Mexico. So for me, yeah, definitely, I, I agree with you on that one. I think he's the future. I think the goalkeeper coach love him. The goalkeeper coach really really love him. So. Hopefully, we he can do very well, you know, in the future going forward. With Angie Blake getting a little bit old, but at least we we'll find a second goalkeeper that looks solid in between the sticks. So we're in good hands when it comes on to goalkeeper. But let's move on to Ravel Morrison. Um, I don't know what to say, but that tucker that was a very lazy tucker by Ravel Morrison, give away a cheap penalty. Yep. I think if we'd never give her that penalty, we'd have win it still. But Ravel, for me, I would give him a 5.5. I think he need to find himself a club by now and Gold Cup for start. He need to find himself a club. Yep. Not at DC, but still on the roster, but he need to find himself. Yeah. Where you should play. Yeah, I think 5.5 is right. If he didn't give away that penalty, it would be a 6.5. But I think that penalty knocks a point off. Other than that, he had a pretty solid game, but that penalty was a is a death blow in the end. So five and a half for Ravel Morrison for me. DJ. What about DJ? Daniel Johnson. I think he played. I think Daniel Johnson played well. I think he put a very great shift in. I'd say about a six and a half. I think he had a great ball forward. I think he played a tough midfield. I have to say, I think he gets a six and a half for me, Daniel Johnson. Yeah, I think he do a lot of, you know, Pressing, you know, he hold the football well. I think he have a good game for me. I would give him a 6.5. So, yeah, not too bad for me. Um, let's move on to the nether midfielder. The goal scorer, outstanding, fabulous strike by Bobby Reed, man. Excellent this season in the Premier League and love to see him continue playing good for Jamaica. But what said you on Bobby Reed? I mean, man of the match. With that goal and his performance, I think he's got to be man of the match. I got to give him a 7.5. I don't think he earned an 8. But that goal was a beautiful strike. 
He played well in the midfield. Besides that, I thought he had another couple of chances to where he could have made it to. Uh, seven and a half for me for for Bobby Reed. Definitely. For me, um, with that strike, you know, I was, trust me, I was screaming. I was happy. You know, I thought that goal going to win it for us, especially when we go two and up. For me, I think Bobby Reed, for me, I'm going to give him, you know, after the, you know, 80 minute, him kind of look a bit run out of pace. But that could happen to any midfielder. For me, I would give Bobby Reed a hit. I think he were that good. So for me, a hit. So let's move on to our next cheap player. Um, Bailey. What said you were Bailey? Leon Bailey, I don't think he played badly, but I think he's a six in my book. Because, again, that final ball, he ran well. I think he put in a good, I wouldn't say performance, but his want, his desire, I thought he had it. But that final ball, if he just put one on the platter instead of none of them, I think they would have won three to two. I think that makes it a six. For Leon Bailey. I don't think he played badly, but he didn't meet expectations. So, six. For me, I'm going to give Bailey a five. Yeah, I think five would be a perfect score for him. Or four. You know, I think I'm going to give him a four, man. Him final pass, man. And this happened too often when him come and play for the national team. So, I need to see more from him. For yeah. a four for me. Yeah, Nicholson. What said you about Nicholson? Shamar, I think he made some good runs. I think he got pushed out wide too often. For me, I think that's a six. I think he could have had a goal. I think he had good positioning until he got pushed wide, but making those first runs, I don't think him not getting anything was really his fault. I think it was more Mexico's defense and Leon not making the right pass or the best pass. I'll say six for Shamar. His positioning was good. I'll go with six. For me, he win every first ball. Not every first ball, but he win most of the header that Jamaica kick forward. Yeah. And one of the header I win come from the Bobby Reed goal. So for me, I'm going yeah. to give him six and a half. I think it was a solid performance, but he should have scored that header. But nevertheless, the goalkeeper, I have to give goalkeeper credit. He make a fabulous save to keep the game 2-2. Two -two. So for me, I'm give Nicholson um, a seven. Good all up play, link up everybody well. So for me, seven. Um, let's move on to the last player before we talk about the bench player. Then, but Jamalo, what what do you think about Jamalo? With Jamal, I have to say six. I think he was really just a passenger. In this mm. game, I didn't really see anything special out of him. He didn't really wow me. But a six is baseline for me, personally. Mm -hmm. Like, you could either really get a good six or, like, a, a six minus, as in, like, you're just on the line. I think he was on the line there, frankly. But six. Okay. Understand. Understand, Debbie. Understand, Debbie. All right. Let's move on to Camera Taxi Lawrence, Farmer, Toronto, so you know him well. Um, yeah. Um, what do you think about it? I think Kamar played a good sub appearance. I think he came on, added a little bit of a spark to the team. I think he's just as good as he was when he left Toronto. I haven't really seen much out of him at Minnesota, but he still, he still has it, even if he's a backup on the bench. I think for me, Kamar, six and a half off the bench. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, we're going to go to two of the players that make an impact for the Jamaican national team. So what do you think about Dexter? Right back replacing Javian Brown. What do you think about him? In comparison to Javian Brown, he was a seven. Seven. That was, that was a pretty good half from Dexter. I thought he looked really well. He handled the pressure more. He defended well. He moved forward when he had to compared to Javane Brown, seven. Seven. I would give him a seven, too. I agree with you. Um, he's very strong. If you look at him, body, look very strong, uh, defending very well, know when to go, know when to come, know when to get too close to the player, know when to back off. So for me, 
play against Nunes, playing against Salah. So I think he's at that level and I think he should be our right back going forward. Solid performance for me. So um, seven. Um, next player we're going to talk about our CDM who has been crying out for a CDM to help fix the problem. So we take so many positives from this game. But Russell, what do you think about him? Come on in the midfield, tall, have long legs. What do you think about him? I think seven. I think when he came on, he made a good impact. He showed well. I think they have their CDM. I think they have it. He played well. No mistakes. Better better than Ravel did. He didn't give up anything. I would say seven. Seven. Fair enough. All right. So let's move on to the last player. And that's last player. Oh, we have two more players. We have Mariapa. What do you think about Mariapa? Came on for Damian Lowe. He didn't have much time on the pitch, but he could have easily screwed something up if he if it was possible. I mean, it's Mexico, but for me, Mariapa, solid, solid, six and a half. Didn't have enough time to really make a big impact, but he shut it down. He was tough. He stopped anything from happening. Six and a half. Definitely. For me, whenever a player come on that a short period, I didn't make any mistake. For me, I like to give them a you know, a five and a half. So for me, a five and a half for Mariapa. Did not put anything wrong, but not enough um, minute to yeah. judge him. Yeah, fair, fair. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the last player. Corey nearly win it for us, man. I thought, I thought Corey Burke came on well. I thought, I thought he was going to win that game. And mm. he almost did. I got to give him a seven. I think Corey Burke in a short time really could have won that game. I think he put everything into it. I'll give Corey Burke seven. Totally agree with you. Corey Burke, um, should I win it for seven for me? It's not bad. So for me, seven. All right, that's seven. But people, I want to tell you guys, thank you very much if you read so far in the video. 22 minutes of excellent video. People, you yeah, always a watch, but not liking the video. Stop what you're doing right now, people. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. This is where you get the latest when you come on to the reggae boys, Jamaican football, everything. So hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. And also, Ryan Anderson, he have a YouTube channel, people. If you want to hear more about him, the link will pin in the description. So check him out. Ryan Anderson, it will pin in the comment section too. So check him out. Show him some love. Support him. I'm always a support Jamaica. Always I do a lot of video on Kankaka football, MLS football, USL. If you're interested, I you understand. So make sure you check him out, people. Please, me I beg on it. It's very important. All right, Ryan. Final say to the Jamaican people before I run off. Great game on Sunday night. Hard take. Hard to take the draw, but things are going in the right direction on the pitch. Behind the scenes, it's still not, but what else could you ask for? Jamaica's doing a good job with Hal Grimson and with the players on the pitch. Things are going to get better, and Gold Cup is going to be a good time for the reggae boys. I know it. Definitely, man. Thank you very much for coming, Ryan. Really do appreciate it. People, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share it out down in the comment section. And tell me what do you guys think about the Jamaican versus Mexico game. It's 2-2. Two -two. Jamaica finish with six points mexico finish with seven thank you guys for watching until next time from your boy ryan lfc i like to see peace out